Hello again. Well, since uh, we we're speaking about these mathematical function as counts, and then let's have a look at some more mathematical functions. And as we said before, we use the count to count, you know, uh, how many times the variable amount gets bound to values from our data set, and then display that as uh, amount count, as you have seen here. And then just to run that query, it's one four six. Yes, and we get. You know, amount count and we get n n n nine times. We it's get, gets bound nine times, and we said that if we remove it, if we remove it, for example, once, and then end the end the, uh, the triple, of course, with a dot. Let's remove it twice just to make sure it works. End the triple with a dot, and then run it again. Now we get it actually seven. Hope that makes sense. Let me return this this back to its original state. Now another interesting function, or another function that may be of interest is the function sum and what it does is it actually sums all or sums the values in that get get the values that get bound to the variable amount and gives us back the sum so we just rename this to sum so it makes more sense so sum sums the sum function sums the values that get bound to the variable that is passed to it so all the values of you know, the amount property that get bound to the amount variable will be togethered, will be summed together, and we'll get the results. As you can see now, we get the sum of, uh, uh, of, of the amount, you know, some of these, this, 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 and, and the rest of them. We can, uh, again, instead of using the sum, for example, what if we want to compute the average? Well, what we can do is, ins instead of, you know, getting this value and then dividing it by the count value, which gives us 9, so 132.88 and you divide it by 9 what we can do is we can just say average AVG and then we can get the average of that as you can see here so 132.88 uh, divide by 9 you get that value and notice the uh, actual precision, ha precision how many digits you get after the decimal point um, you, you know quite a few decimal places um, uh, something that is, you know, uh, uh, the Arc Sparkle processor is capable of of doing. Now, we uh, we ha we we have seen uh, the count, the sum, the average, and we have seen the max. Let's just play it as, for example, amount max. We get the maximum value just quickly, and maybe the amount min instead of max, the minimum value. Let's just rename it amount min to make sense. Wait, otherwise it's only a variable so it doesn't make much difference you know remember to have meaningful names always so you can understand it maybe if you come back to it after a few months few weeks months or even years or y when you for example uh, when for example someone else tries to use it they can make more sense of it when you have uh, meaningful names um, and uh, that's it really for the uh, the these simple mathematical functions. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, I'll try to show you how, how we can use the group by uh, to actually group some results together. I'll see you next time.